Hello, so this is another DIY project that I am working on right now. So this is a, a post for hanging two of the bird feeders and two of the bird houses in here. So I have seen some people has a metal post this kind of mounted to the deck um, but I couldn't find anything like that at the, um, the hardware store or at Walmart or something like that so I just decided to build my own here so this is a wooden post um, with the, the width of 48 inches and the height of 48 inches and so the depth is about, I think like about 1 inches and the thickness of this one right there is 2 inches. So in here, I have to I cut a little bit space here so that I can hang the birth feeder onto and I did the same to the other end right here and then right here in the middle I'm gonna screw in a birth house so this post is gonna be mounted onto the deck that I have Okay, so this is something that it would look like when I hang these uh, bird feeders and bird houses onto. So this is what I have a bird feeder which I bought from a garage sale a couple years ago. Um, so I'm gonna hang that one right there into the space that I have right there and then I'm gonna do the same probably I'm gonna buy the same bird feeder at Walmart right now and then just hang that on to this other end here and here will be the bird feeder uh, bird house that I bought from Walmart a couple days ago so this one is on sale right now for $9.95 um, I think like the regular price is $12.95 or something so this is but this is the tire the fall right now and we are going into the winter pretty soon so everything in the summer stuff is on sale right now so with this one I'm gonna build another um, stick that coming out like this so the bird can um, can stay on and in the other side of this post I'm gonna have another bird house screw into So I got the post mounted onto the deck right now. Um, so this is one bird house that I mounted first before I hang up this post. Um, so in the first video, I said that I I wanted to have another bird house on the other side of the post, but after a little bit thinking so I think like from the window from my window here right there you can see that um, looking out if I have the pole the um, the birth house on this side of the post so probably I won't see any uh, birth coming in and out from that house so 
I decided to just have one birth house only and then one end here I'm gonna hang another um, birth feeder and the same to the other one, the other end here okay so this is the view from the deck so I finally got everything hang up here uh, so I just bought this one from Walmart for I think about $10 or something it's on sale right now which is because of right now it's in the fall and every summer stuff is now on clearance or on sale at Walmart and then did both house here I bought I made a little stick that coming out from the front so that the birds can land on and then grow or jump into this hole here and then as I mentioned earlier so I wanted to have two of the birth houses one here on this side and then one on the other side but I thought that because of the window we look out from from the window here and if I put the another birth house on the other side of this post so I won't be able to see the birds coming in and out so that's why I I don't I don't want another one on the other side and then I decided to hang this post here underneath the pine tree here this because I should have uh, or I should or I might need to hang this 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 post somewhere around here um, but I don't want to do that because of maybe so this is kind of open area as you can see and so the wind may may have more force onto the post then if I have this post here because just to show the trees can have like a couple of cover for the post uh, also it might not less water when it's, it's raining during the summer and it near the trees here so the birds so I think it would attract attract more birds the only issue that I have I might have to deal with right now or maybe in future is a so the squirrels can jump in onto this post and eat these so it is all of these seeds here so um that's something that I have to think about later just how to avoid that Plus, I don't want any squirrel to get near to this bird's house if any bird is nesting inside. So, that's just something that I have to think about later on. Uh, but we'll see. But for now, uh, I just see like I'm, I'm hoping like there there'll be some birds that appear here. Let's see. So this this is how I done with this post and sorry for my language here because I'm not um American native like I'm not I wasn't born in America so English is my it's not my first language so sorry for that accent and all of the English stuff um, and if you have any comments or how to improve this or is there a better way to do to hang the post onto the deck 
just leave me a comment below and thank you for watching so this is a little bit update on my uh, bird feeders um, and the post that I built it earlier so after a few days when I put up the post and hang the, the bird feeders and I saw few squirrels come came here and then try to eat all of the seeds here and they're making a mess on the deck so I realized all of the bird feeders that I had earlier they call um, it's not for the squirrel defense at all so I I did some uh, research on on the web and um, I went to um, a home improvement store here and then I see they sell some bird feeders they call the squirrel buster uh, bird feeder so what it does right now so as you can see like what it had this one so I bought from Manas which is um, it's a big home improvement store in upper midwest here and what it has is so there's a tray here but also there's a cover on this one so I can see oh, from this angle here um, so with the weight of the birds when when they land on this it will not cover it will not close this cover but with the weight of the squirrel when they climb in here it will close like that and there's no way the squirrel can eat the seeds here um, so the same with this one so it's close like that and and I spent some time this morning and watching the squirrel try to get to this but they they they, they take up a uh, hang around here for half an hour try to figure out a way to eat the seeds in here but finally they give up because there's no way they can get to this one here plus um, the distance from this to this is too far away from their reach so I think I'm good with this one but for this one it's a little bit concerned because of the height from here from the deck to up to this one I think like is about 18 inches and the squirrel can stand up and then grab these but hopefully when they grab these and this will close this cover like this but we'll see um, also I I put up some uh, fake flowers here so to make it look a little bit nicer instead of just a symbol or blank um, wooden post so if we can have some flowers on the top there and some leaves here so this will make it look a little bit um, nicer so something I can enjoy during the winter from uh, from the inside and so these I, I went to a, a dollar store and then bought these baskets for one dollar each and those flowers that my mom bought from a garage sales during the summer so they uh, these are pretty cheap and then this one I bought from Manas, as I mentioned earlier, for thirty dollars. But um, this one, my mom um, bought from a garage sale, so I think that's pretty cheap too, for five dollars maybe. So that's all. So that's my update for this uh, post. 
if you have any comment just leave them below here and maybe I can learn something from you as well for how to deal with all of the squirrels.